What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FIFA 20 video. It is 6pm, I believe the headliners is done. Um, there is no new season objective, sadly one more time. Uh, but obviously we had the milestone yesterday, so that, that's something, you know, you know, we haven't really got there yet. Uh, squad battles on this account is coming up good though. Um, but yeah, sadly no new uh, milestone player or milestones in general. There was a leak uh, last week. Uh, or the week before that there was some stuff coming, but I, I guess not. Uh, which leaves us with the SBCs. Um, Trent Player of the Month. Player Moments, Luik Remy, uh, which will be interesting to see how good he is. It's only one squad. Leroy Sané and a few other bits. Headliners Challenge, but I believe that's the one. Oh, no, that's new. Wait. First of all, I thought Headliners finished today at 6 p.m., so interesting as to why they've given us a new headliner challenge. But there is also a new loading screen. Um, and here it is. It's going to load me straight in without giving me the loading screen, isn't it? We're going to have to back out. Oh, no. Yeah, there you go. Starts in two days, 23 hours. Now, I didn't quite catch uh, that really there. Um, it might be future stars. It might not be future stars. Um God knows what it is, but it starts on Friday. So I'm sure people are going to piece together whatever those symbols are and what they might possibly mean and start picking apart the rest of the picture where I'm sure EA have got some Easter eggs. But a new promo is coming and that is good. So let's get into Loic Remy, guys. Let's have a look at his card. Ow. Let's have a look at his card and uh, see. Like, I remember this Remy card. He actually used to be in a lot of my old teams. Um, a lot of the, the squad's that we built back in like 12, 13, 14. Now he's three star, four star. I am very intrigued as to whether or not that is an upgraded uh, skill move or weak foot, or if that is not. Um, so his base card is four star, three star as well. So it's not. In terms of the card, he's been given 14 pace, 11 shooting, 11 dribbling, seven passing, and seven physical. Um, and just in general, 6-1, four-star skill moves. Um, let's have a look at his card back again. Didn't go into the in-game stats there. Yeah, 6-1, four-star skill moves, three-star weak foot. Now, three-star weak foot is, yeah, you know, doesn't really... It's a bit frustrating. Wow. Now, first things first, this, this is a good card straight away for one squad as well. And if this is an 83-rated squad, this is a very good value card. Um, his acceleration and sprint speed are really well rounded. His shooting is brilliant for a card that's 85 rated. 91 positioning, 90 finishing, 88 shot power is great. His passing is not great, but he is a striker. His dribbling as well as a standard is very good. Uh, good agility and balance, especially for someone that's 6'1". Not high end, not top tier. You're probably going to want to boost those, but not bad either. Uh, his reactions, ball control, dribbling and composure are very nice. His strength is very good. Uh, obviously, his stamina is going to be a bit of an issue. You're probably going to want to use um, stay forwards on his in-game tactics. So when we go into the um, into the the card itself, I think you've got a couple of things that you could do with Chem Styles with this card. First of all, my first look would be a Hunter, uh, just because it gives him basically max pace and then really high end shooting. You're going to suffer a little bit with the dribbling and a lot with the passing. You know, I think passing is actually a very overlooked stat in this game. Very, very, uh, very important, especially in the attacking areas when you're trying to do little one-twos and stuff. Um, so, you know, that that could be causing you a few issues there. And to remedy that, you could potentially give him an engine. Um, you know, great pace, big boost on agility. Uh, sorry, on balance and a boost on agility. Boost is uh, passing up quite nicely. And then I feel like because his positioning and finishing are so strong already... You can get away without giving him a chemistry uh, boost on on the shooting stats. And then, of course, you've got the uh, sniper chem style, which will get him max uh, max finishing. Really good dribbling again. 91 agility with that plus 10 and really good balance and 94 composure. Just generally a massive, massive upgrade there. I think that might be a really good card for him as well. Uh, and then Maestro does boost that passing by 10 boost the shooting in the correct areas massive on shot power massive on long shots good on positioning but doesn't boost the balance and only the agility by a little bit um so you've you got options with this and, and like i said i think ultimately it depends um for this card as to 
what the squad rating is. If this is an 84 rated squad, I would probably be inclined to say it might be a little bit overpriced. Still worth doing because a fun squad. And there you go, that's exactly what it is. It's an 84 rated squad. Um, you need one French player, uh, which doesn't really change the requirements value by much at all. But I, I feel personally like an 83 rated squad would have been much better suited. When you think about the fact that Tammy Abraham as a live item was an 83 rated squad, how Remy as a static item with three star weak foot and 70 stamina is an 84 rated squad is a little bit, eh, you know, a little bit beyond me. Um, I'm not quite sure, not entirely sure why he's that expensive. Um, we need we need an 84 rated squad here. Whoops, didn't want to do that. Um, let's go and get our 84 rated squad from the Syria. Hopefully we've got a Frenchman. I mean, I know Matuidi was there. I don't particularly want to use Matuidi, but I also will if I have to. Um, so we can get away with a few more 84s now. Uh, Delic, no, Sidigu, Ilicic and Costa can go in. And then we'll be able to pop in a whole bunch of 83s outside of that as well. No inform needed and not like insane chemistry requirements either, which is obviously quite handy. Um, but I still think, I, st I just, you know, just me, just personally me. And let me know in the comment section below if you guys are going to complete this SBC or not. Uh, let me know if it interests you or not. So that's already an 84 rated squad for me. Uh, are we going to be able to drop the 85 or at least one of the 85s? Yeah, 75 chemistry, no inform. Uh, that's not too bad at all. Um, that's fine for the uh, all of that sort of stuff. Can we drop down one? No. So that is actually the perfect uh, threshold for the rating. Um, so there you go. That That's Loic Remy in uh, or done, should I say. And I also want to go and have a look at the daily SBC and complete that as well and see where we can potentially make some profit from selling items from the daily SBC. All in all, like... I don't know, man. I, I think this SBC, I, I think I, like this card for me brings back memories, that's for sure. You know, when you think about um, what he was in FIFA back in the day, like when we go to his generations page, uh, just stop dancing like that, you weird guy. Uh, when we go to his generations page, he had a moments card in FIFA 19. Um, I think it was, I don't, was it that one that had the blistering pace? Or was it? I feel like it was like close. Yeah, I feel like it's these ones. So his moments card last year was also pretty cool. More stamina, high rated cards, um, and generally speaking, pretty much better. Yeah, better all around. You know, you put a sniper on this card, that's a top card. Even a uh, an engine on this card, that is, it's a little bit better. Uh, but that's not the card that we're here for. So this one was pretty good. Uh, the eighty nine pace Loic Remy. But I think this one, yeah, this is the one. 90 pace with 80 shooting, with good positioning and finishing, great pace, um, terrible dribbling and passing, but that was in a game where it really didn't matter, FIFA 16. Same with FIFA 15, another one with great pace and uh, and shooting. And, it, you know, it, everything else just didn't matter in this game. And then in FIFA 14, the same 91 pace. This card was outstanding. Um, so, you know, back in the day, the, these cards really were good. And what I do like about this Loic Remy card as well is when we go to look at who he links with that you guys have already done for SBCs, the French League is littered with players that you could have earned already and have collected. Uh, so we've got um, Cavani was a cheap SBC. Uh, we've got Lala that was an expensive SBC. Fabregas, I, I, I personally thought was a bit expensive, but I know a lot of people did Ben Yedda, so Remy would be a good partnership next to him. I still think he's like way overpriced. Um, Awa, I know you can get him from Storyline right now, so that's a strong link between Awa and Remy there. Um, Draxler, I hope nobody did. That was a terrible uh, SBC. Payet at 59k wasn't too bad. You can get a strong link into him, obviously. Uh, Gelson Martin, season uh, season objective, the Shoji uh, SBC, not sorry, milestone card. You can obviously link with him, the Bulaya uh, Fatmas card, and then also the uh the mendez fatmas card that you could earn which is obviously a good link you've got sanson who is a good card to link to him uh, with only 27k uh renato sanchez who was nice and cheap and simon who I, I thought at the time was expensive at 53k but on reflection of how this game plays that was actually a banging price for a banging card uh you pop a sniper on him uh and you, you've got yourself like a really really strong attacking player especially with the five star weak foot as well like i i regret not doing him i think that was one of those cards that i let slip under my radar um, but yeah, basically you've got the Aussie men card as well, which strong links into Remy, both the Lille strikers there. Uh, you've got a couple of good league SBC cards. Like in, in terms of just the French league itself, there is a lot to connect to Remy very, very comfortably. Uh, and then in terms of French players, um, 
Fekir was a bit too expensive for me. Valbuena is a good one, and it, and it might be worth going if that Valbuena is still there. Uh, it might be worth now going and getting that Valbuena because you could just link Valbuena and Remy together. Is he still there? He's not. Was he only there for a day? That's crazy. Am I missing something? No, he was there for a day. That is genuinely crazy. Um, maybe two days. Maybe I missed it. But I, like, I'm I'm gutted. I didn't do that Valbuena card. Now, I, I even in my video, I said to you guys, I think that that was a good card, and I did him on my pay to win account. But I did not do him on my Road to Glory account, and I'm I'm gutted. I can't believe I didn't. I'm I'm absolutely gutted. Valbuena with a dead ice. Oh man, what an idiot. What an idiot. Um, but yeah, bottom line is, is there is plenty of French players. Roussillon, uh, obviously, is one of the French players that you guys could have to link to uh, Loic Remy. So there, there, there's there's a whole bunch of options right there um, that you guys could link with him. I think it's a good card. I don't know what the actual price is. Um, I can't believe I didn't do Valbuena. What an idiot. It was so cheap. Um, he's coming in at about 55k. Would he be 55k on the market? Probably not. He'd probably be in, you know, the 30 to 40k mark. Um, but that's that's where it's at. So let me go and have a look at the daily um, headliner challenge. I don't understand why we have headliners uh, still here. It's an untradeable pack. Uh, and it's going to be a 70 rated squad, three nations, three rares, 75 chemistry, and the same nation max four. So what you're going to see uh, is you're about to start seeing silvers from major leagues or silvers from leagues that have a lot of gold cards spiking because what people will tend to do is put a four or five golds in and then a whole bunch of silvers uh because the rating is quite you know irrelevant what you guys should probably do is go for your lowest rated gold cards and ignore silvers right because what hap what tends to happen is a silver card will sell for about 300 coins right they discard at 250 a rare silver anyway they they discard at 250 they sell at 300 so what today is going to do is is going to cause the price of these silver cards to go to five, six, seven, eight hundreds. At which point you are genuinely better off, even though you'll be well over on in in terms of the ratings threshold. You are genuinely better off just using your discard golds because it's just going to work out cheaper. You know, there's absolutely no need um, to uh, to pop in anything else other than what you have now. We might have missed. No, there you go. Perfect for us. So. Uh, that was that done. It's a small prime gold players pack. Now, what's really weird, really weird for me, is the fact that it's untradeable because there aren't any um, there aren't any special cards in packs right now. And this isn't exactly like a wildly cheap SBC. Um, so I, I don't know why a small prime gold players pack, which isn't what we're opening here, where we do get a board. Funnily enough, yeah, I don't, I don't understand why a small prime gold players pack would be considered untradeable. Um, oh, we get an informal... That's, that's actually a pretty good card out of that, that pack right there. 20k card there, nice. Uh, this, this one was tradable. don't even know where this came from, but uh, yeah, I'll take uh, an Upamencano and a Jean Moutinho. But yeah, with, with, no, with no... Other than the team of the week and the icons, you know, like with no special cards in packs, it's bizarre to me that they would create an untradable small prime gold players pack for an SBC. Uh, but that's where we're at. And, and there you go. That's This is exactly why it's bizarre to me because this pack is just trash it, it's it's it, strange as I, I have no other words to say about it it's just strange that this pack is untradeable uh that though guys is going to be the end of the video for today if you did enjoy it be sure to leave a like rating comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for now guys i'm out peace